Farewell, you're watching Smart24 TV and Smart Means Business continues with me, Rita Cabanero. And now we're going to be looking out what is the latest from UNEB registration fees. Now you better know that private schools increased fees due to lots of demand in their preparations. And the information of the Sattler that was addressed to all heads of schools, district education officers from UNEB executive director Daniel Odong indicated that schools have up to May 31st to register their students for all the three sets of examinations. But UNEB also opened the regist uh, registration of candidates on February 2nd and also schools have three months to register their candidates to avoid paying an extra fee for late registration. But the board, as meanwhile, warned also heads of school against hiking registration fees that have also set the board of for, uh, forthcoming national examinations. However, one might also wonder what could be the stakeholders' take on this issue. Take a look at it. While talking to Ignatius Kabanda, the head teacher of Verona High School, he discloses that schools increase UNEB fees because these exams come with a lot of demands, like buying new laboratory equipment. Well, some schools, true, they hike UNEB fees just because of the challenges they face. For example, there are so many equipments to buy in the laboratory and the government is promoting science subjects. So you find yourself unable to provide the learners with all the lab equipments. So what you do as a school, you add some return money which is paid by the parents on top of fees, on top of your neighbor fees, at least to buy some lab equipments. Yeah. He says that school fees cannot be enough to feed the learners, facilitate the teachers, and at the same time facilitate the UNEB exercise. That's why an increment to the original UNEB fees is made and parents support it. It may not be enough. Remember, a school fees, you can use school fees to pay off the teachers. You need, uh, you, you use school fees to feed the learners, use school fees for development of the school. Uh, school fees may not be enough to buy lab equipment. Uh, and even, remember, we private schools, we pick the exams from the stations where exams are being given out. Kabanda further calls upon the government and the Ministry of Education to support private schools by giving them computers, laboratory equipments and books because private schools contribute to the education sector. We we'll do appeal to the government to support private schools because we are teaching children which children belong to the government. We don't own these children. These are younger Ugandans belonging to the Ugandan government. We employ teachers. I think by employing these teachers, we are kind of curbing unemployment. So we are doing a service to our country. According to the set fees, each school is slated to pay 34,000 shillings for each PLE candidate, 164,000 shillings for UCE students, and 186,000 shillings for the USCE. Zimbabwe, they're